here near the Yukon in Jade City, we've got the world's richest deposits of Neperite Jade. And the Chinese want it. <laughs> this is going to be the million dollar rock. Now, we just have to find it. I will dig till my hands bleed. Go! Jade makes people do crazy things. <laughs> August 31st, it's snowing. Yeah, a little early this year. You know when the snow hits tree line? Almost time to start packing. Yeah, it's three weeks early this year, so might have an early winter. At the Jade Mine Wolverine, the mining season is limited to about 100 days per year when the ground isn't frozen. We do live in the north. The early snowfall means they're running out of time. In Wolverine, when it starts to snow, it changes everything. You can't see the ground. Definitely can't see any jade. After a tough week in Jade City, Claudia, Alan, Robin, and R2 are back at Wolverine. Oh! Look, you can see your, your breath. Look, Alan. Look at your breath. <laughs> snow is coming too early. And uh, so I hope we can, we can have a month or something, or at least a three weeks. I just feel like, you know, season too short. It's too early, it's not coming. Despite a few successes at Wolverine... No. This summer hasn't been as profitable as everyone hoped. But that fracture is definitely not good. Oh, there's a fracture here. Damn, damn, double down. Definitely not good. Yeah, the little bit that we've made in mining so far this year hasn't even covered the costs of what we've just lost. Last week in Jade City. My well water smells like <laughs> The septic system contaminated the well water. Yep. Thinking I should close the restaurant down, but how the do I cook for 50 people? Forcing Claudia to forfeit a half million dollar deal to house and feed a local work crew. To offset the loss, they need to find a lot more jade before the snow hits. Unless they find that million dollar boulder, it's impossible to dig myself out of the hole that we've made for this year. And to make matters worse, they're running out of diesel at camp. Yeah, we're pretty much out. The excavator is full right now, so we're good for a full day of mining, day and a half, maybe two, depending on how hard we work it. But if fuel don't show up within two days, there will be on the will be on the shutdown here because that excavator don't run on Friendship too well. We've got about 100 liters left. Back at the trailhead, 120 kilometers away. Twenty-five thousand dollars worth of fuel here. The rock truck is loaded up with diesel, and it's up to Josh to get it to Wolverine. Okay, I'm gonna check my four points. I got a plastic bag that. Bung. We're dependent on this load because it's our fuel. So right now, unless I get the fuel in camp, there's no jade being mined. That hook's good. That hook's good. That's good. That one's good. Chains are loaded. I'm ready to back this truck out, hit the trail. I am going to get this job done for my parents, and I'm going to keep doing it. This is my place on this planet, is on this trail that I hate so much. And you know what? We're not giving up. We're going to find more jade. And this trail is my opportunity to prove to my parents that I'm not lying when I say I'm here to make a difference. So you guys hitting the road. Go find your mummy, Jade. Mm-hmm. Mm Let's go take a look. He and Justin have to ration excavator fuel until Josh arrives. So they go hunting for promising rocks by hand. We're right here. Will you show? Yeah, my two hands. That's why you always have a young guy with you. <laughs> Quartz. 
It's a frustrating process. Nope. Oh. Uh, another bed. It's definitely not Jay. This is one. <laughs> nope. Get this party going. Eventually, Justin spots something he likes. I like the shape of the top. Yeah. And the fact that it's uniform. It's got the noise. There is a chunk in here that glows. That is a good sign right there. Well, safe to say it's Jade. I think it's bigger than we think. Nice. This thing's big. And this one's gonna be like minimum 15 tons. Like a Jade magnet. If it is Jade, yeah. If it's a good one, yeah. If this rock is good, Jade, it'll be Justin's third big find of the season. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Very, very good. Bam. Oh. That's what we wanted. Bam, bam. I'm thinking when you were born, I think your mom shoved a piece of Jade up your ass to make you cracked it to Jade. Well, hopefully not. Let's go get the excavator. Let's go. See if I can get out of here without breaking my neck. You're a little, uh, little hung up there. They'll burn up a lot of their diesel to dig up the rock. Fortunately, Josh is only an hour away with more fuel. All right, booty booty, let's go race and time to get to Wolverine. That's my notifier, that stack of rocks. Yes, I'm so ahead of schedule. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Josh has blown a tire on the rock truck while transporting desperately needed fuel into the Wolverine mine. That puddle right there is where it let go, but it wasn't a pop and it wasn't anything. It was just all of a sudden I was riding on metal. With the snow on its way, a delay now could shut down mining for the season. Yeah, this is Josh Bunts for Wolverine Camp. Yeah, go ahead. I am currently about an hour out of camp with a tire blown off the beat. I am immobilized. I can't go anywhere right now. Check if there's any slices at all so we know that it's just the bead, not the tire cut. There is potential for it to be the tire cut. There's uh, like a fold underneath and I can't see very well. Okay. So I'll stand by. Okie doke. He's quite a ways away, so we have to get geared up to go and get the tire off. So we, we, have, we have a problem. We need fuel in camp desperately because it runs all of our equipment and it runs our generators. Things couldn't be happening at a worse time for us. R2 will head out in the Bedford. All right, come on, baby, fire, fire. On top of everything, nothing. The Bedford won't start. The old Bedford. You know, it's just one thing after another. Banging on the starter does not help. All it does is destroy the starter and knock all the magnetic weights off of the inside, so then the starter is totally screwed. There we go. But sometimes you get lucky. Nothing a hammer won't fix. R2 heads out to rescue Josh and his valuable cargo of fuel. You make for a long day, that's for damn sure. Ah, uh, go this way, Mark. J 
Justin and Guy get back to work digging out their giant rock with the little fuel they have. Huge. Ding, ding, ding. I smell the dollar sign. Robin and Alan show up to check out the big find. This one here, that part right there is a good sign. All of this, it's a very hard part of the jade. Those will not have fractures in them. This one should, might be the one. We're hoping. She even sounds good. Looking good. Get you to stand there and I'll, uh... Yeah. This looks over 20 tons, the biggest rock they've ever unearthed. There. But it's not a slam dunk. It's definitely some fractures in it. But... Yeah. How bad they are, who knows? No one knows how long the fuel truck could be down, so the crew needs to decide if it's worth burning almost all their remaining fuel, hauling the boulder back to camp. If we run out of fuel in camp, we can't do anything. We can't mine for the jade that we need to. We can't run into the excavator. We can't run into the equipment. Got a good potential, but uh, there's some fracture in the bottom part. It's too big. Mm -hmm. The steel, the half, it's good jade. It's uh, lots of money. They've never attempted to move a boulder this big. It could take us all day. But if it's all that in a bag of chips, we'll be fine with it. All we can do is go for it, right? Absolutely. So what are you going to hook to? Drop it around a ripper. Then we'll double up. So it's twice the strength, right? OK. OK. We can't carry it. We can't lift it. It's big and heavy, and it's too awkward. This one we're dragging which I hope goes well. The rock is too big to lift. So the plan is to wrap cables around it and drag it back to camp. Go ahead, back up. I will readjust once she tightens if we have to, right? OK. OK, you guys good? OK, oh. give her. She didn't make it. Broken. The cable popped out of its shackle. OK, so just uh, get out from here. The cable's not broken. Oh, it didn't break? It just came out? Yeah, came out. it's not broken. Gee, got to back up and come unhooked. It doesn't look stretched. I don't think it was in right. Good, good. OK. Alan, stand back. Too heavy. Yeah. In situations like this, it's just pulling hands up and get her done. R2 is closing in on Josh, hoping he can get the rock truck back on the road tonight. Watch your mirrors. So, Robin. Yep. This tire's f Ooh, yeah. We're not getting that back on. I was hoping it would be simply just uh, the rubber bead came off and, and we could grease it, hopefully jam some air in it, get it going. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's more than that. Oh, f These ones are in rough shape, dried out old rubber. They've probably been on this thing for 20 years. They'll have to replace the tire. Josh's fuel shipment won't be getting to camp anytime soon. So we got to dismount, take it to town, get a new tire put on the rim. And there's like two weeks left in the season, so it's like it's beyond crunch time. Like crunch time was a month ago. Now we're like in four f time. try rolling it, or should we push it? I don't know. At Wolverine, the crew is using up the last of their fuel supply on the biggest rock they've ever tried to move. There's not much to grab on because the way of it, uh, the way it's shaped. So time will tell here. 
I think we need to use the chain. Well, may as well try. Yep. We'll get the other chains. We wrap around this end. We wrap around that end. We hook to there and we hook to here. Yeah. He lifts up. It's gone. Try it. See how it goes. All ready. Doubling up the stronger chains might give them a better grip on the rock. Plan A don't work. Try plan B. Right there. Perfect. You good there, Ruben? Yep. Yeah. OK. I pull, you push. Yeah. OK. Stand back. Stand way back. OK, there you go. Try pulling. Oh, no. Big mud hole. They're stuck. We got too much mud here. This is the worst. We're using way too much fuel to get this far. The rock has only moved 20 feet, but they've used up half of their diesel. Mm. Young Josh, you better show up with fuel here. 10 kilometers from camp, OK, yeah. Jack is in there. Yeah. Josh and R2 need to take off the rock truck's wheel. Everything's depending on this fuel. Getting back in. OK, time to go under. How do we jack this? We'll get this one up as high as we can, and then put the other jack on a, on a bigger one. F it's going to be a bit to lift. They only have a couple of small jacks to try and lift the 30-ton, fully loaded rock truck. I'll grab another jack while you're doing that. Yeah, right on. You ever seen jacked house jackers? That's what you need, some hydraulic pumps, a little generator, and fucking run that thing right now. Just up, done. OK, my arm's wearing out. Yeah. But that thing might be close to max. I think it is max. Yeah, we can get the other one on now. Where are we going to put it, though? Uh, right in front of it. Starting to lift up there yet? Yeah, it is moving it up slightly, tiny bit. Kind of looks like it out here. Just incremental, right? Millimeter by millimeter. I can't even see it. And I, the tire's coming off now, too. We're just about level, aren't we? Once the truck is lifted, they'll need to loosen the lug nuts on the wheel with a ratchet. Is there an extension here? We can stick out on a pipe, one of these pry bars in it. No, no, the extensions to get to the socket. We can't get the ratchet onto the socket in the hub because it's too deep, it's too offset. Extension for that? Yeah. No, nope, we don't have that. That means we're, we're not getting this tire off. Yeah, how did I forget that? Jesus. Oh, Out at Wolverine. She's heavy. Heaviest one yet. A 20 ton boulder and the dozer are stuck in a mud hole. The old D7 not liking it. We need lots of backup. We gotta get him on hook so he can get out. Yeah. The dozer can't escape from the mud hole while tied to the heavy rock. I'm trying to unhook it. I wonder if we could have got any more mud in here. The chains are buried under a foot of mud. It's way down here because he hooked it up low. Okay. So I just got to get him out up here now. Whoa, whoa. Can you grab the, the corner of my ripper? Huh? Devin tries using the excavator bucket to push on the back of the dozer. Come on, girl. Perfect. The dozer is free, but the boulder is still stuck in the mud. 
We're not there yet. Nope. You better roll it up out of that hole. OK. Just keep rolling yeah, it? Yeah, just, just keep like that. That's good. Show off. After pulling, keep trying. pushing, good. and rolling with two machines all day long, keep on. Right on. they've eaten up almost all of their fuel. What I'm thinking is it better be a good rock. It is. Absolutely. If not, Perfect. We're good. Oh, yeah. So once it's cut, then it'll be easier to handle. But before they can start cutting it... Hi. A call comes in from Josh. What's going on? Well, this tire's so we got to dismount everything, take it to town, get a new tire put on the rim. Nothing happens till it all happens at the same time. Always. The fuel shipment will be delayed for days, even weeks. There's only two weeks left of the mining season, so if we run out of fuel, we're at a standstill. Everybody might as well go home. If Josh can't get the diesel into camp before the snow hits, they could be forced to shut down the mine and leave the monster boulder behind. We need fuel right away. We're in trouble. Next time on Jade Fever. See that nice green there? One more like that. This is the biggest one so far we see. Yay! This thing will be down for a few days. So I got to get this out as quick as I can so that we can get it back on this truck. Let go. So everything's depending on this fuel. We left on a 10-hour journey at 2 p.m. with no headlights. We drove with flashlights. This is stupid. I was pushing my limits, and I pushed too far.